Hello everyone, welcome to our next lesson on the structure of the atom. In this video we will learn the basics of atomic structure and the different particles that make up an atom. As we have learned in our previous video, atoms consist of a central nucleus, surrounded by negatively charged electrons. The electrons orbit around the nucleus in definite shells. The nucleus is made up of two different types of particles, the positively charged protons and the neutral neutrons. Protons and neutrons have the same mass, so we say that they have a relative mass of 1. Electrons have a mass approximately 2000 times smaller than a proton. So, it's negligible and can be considered zero. Hence, the mass of an atom is the sum of the masses of the protons and the neutrons. Now, the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom determines which element it is. The smallest element is hydrogen. It has one proton in the nucleus and one electron orbiting it. The next smallest is helium. It has two protons and two neutrons in the nucleus and two electrons orbiting them. In total there are more than 100 elements. Each element is represented by a nuclear symbol, which consists of its chemical symbol, and two numbers. The number on the bottom left is called the atomic number, which is unique to the element, as it represents the number of protons that are present in the atoms of that element. The number on the top left is called the mass number, which is the total number of protons and neutrons present in the atoms of that element. For example, the element lithium is represented by this nuclear symbol. As such, its atom consists of three protons and four neutrons. Moreover, it consists of three electrons as the number of protons and electrons are equal to make the atom neutral. Now we know that an element is defined by the number of protons its atom consists of. But the number of neutrons of a particular element can vary between different atoms. As long as the number of protons remains the same, it's still the same element. We call these different forms of atoms of an element with different number of neutrons as isotopes. For example, the most common form of carbon is carbon-12. It has 6 protons, 6 neutrons and 6 electrons. A rarer form is carbon-13, that still has 6 protons as it is carbon, but 7 neutrons and 6 electrons. Another isotope of carbon is carbon-14 with 8 neutrons. Similarly, hydrogen has 3 isotopes, protium with 1 proton, 0 neutrons, and 1 electron, deuterium with 1 proton, 1 neutron, and 1 electron, and tritium with 1 proton, 2 neutrons, and 1 electron. Since the isotopes vary only in the number of neutrons they have. Chemically, they all react the same way. Now, because the isotopes have different number of neutrons, they will have different masses. So, we need to calculate the average atomic mass of all the isotopes of a particular element. For example, chlorine occurs in nature in two isotopes, chlorine-35 which has an abundance of 75%, and chlorine-37 which has an abundance of 25%. By abundance, we mean how common, or how rare that isotope is in nature. So, if we collect a sample of chlorine, 75% of the atoms will be chlorine-35, and 25% will be chlorine-37. To calculate the average atomic mass, the equation is, sum of the isotope abundance, times the isotope mass, divided by the sum of the abundances of all the isotopes. So, for chlorine, it will be 75 times 35, plus 25 times 37, divided by 75 plus 25. On the numerator, we have 2625 plus 925, which adds up to 3550. On the denominator, 75 and 25 add up to 100, which makes sense, since there are two isotopes, and together, they should add up to 100% so that it represents all of the chlorine atoms. Dividing them we get the average atomic mass of chlorine as 35.5 U, where U is the atomic mass unit, which we will discuss in a separate video. Next let's consider two elements, calcium and argon. Calcium has an atomic number of 20, and argon has an atomic number of 18, but both have the same mass number of 40. Atoms of different elements with different atomic number, but the same mass number are called isobars. Anyway, that's all for this video. If you find it useful, please do share it with your friends or give us a comment down below, and we will see you next time. Thank you.